close your eyes and take a walk with me in the forest. It is a perfect West Coast morning. Branches and leaves crackle under your feet, and you walk towards the slanted fall light. The earth smells sweet from the rains of the night before. You look up and see the trees moving with the wind, and the smell of cedar fills the air. Your skin is damp and warm. You take a deep breath in. Your shoulders drop, and you feel at peace. This feeling that you're all experiencing right now is your innate connection and love of nature. It's called biophilia. I believe, with more and more of us living in urban centers, we need nature in our lives now more than ever. And I'd like to share with you some benefits of having nature in our urban lives. I think we all know that plants absorb CO2, the harmful emissions from our cars and industry, even the air that we breathe out. But what many of us don't know is that in our interiors of our buildings, plants also absorb the harmful chemicals that are often off-gassing from the carpets, paint, even the furniture that we use. Chemicals such as formaldehyde, benzene, acetone, ammonia. All of these get absorbed and purified into oxygen by plants. Living in cities, we are often surrounded by so many stimulus: our technology, traffic, even just the noise of city and people around us. Creating naturalized areas in our cities creates an opportunity for us to turn off, to rest, to recuperate, and to just be quiet. Perhaps the most profound effect of being in a city is the fact that although we're surrounded by people, we feel isolated from one another and often disconnected from the natural world. Creating public green space such as parks and community gardens gives us an opportunity to not only reconnect with nature but also establish community with one another. Last year, I visited Detroit City, and I was astounded by how many buildings there were that were torn down and demolished. But there was one site in particular that caught my eye. It was a torn-down building site that was purchased by a local tech company and donated to a not-for-profit. And it is now the most beautiful community garden that I've ever seen, a place where the, where the public go to grow their own food and also even a community yoga center. This is what our cities look like today. This is an image of downtown Toronto. Wouldn't it be remarkable if they looked like this? <laughs> One way which I enjoy bringing plant life into urban centers is through living walls. A lot of us don't have a lot of space in our studio apartments, our condos, or even our office spaces. But living walls give us an opportunity, with just a foot of space and going up from there, to create fruit production. And just beautifying our spaces. Here's a couple examples. It can be as elaborate as this herb garden that the chef is picking his seasoning from, or as simple as this herb box that we built for a, a woman in a, in a loft apartment that wanted to use fresh herbs in her cooking. And my favorite of these images is this young man who's tending to his fruits and veggies at school. Lots of schools are using living walls as an easy way to teach children about food production, which I think is so important. Living walls can also be used to simply beautify a space, while at the same time they will also purify the air for the occupants. A couple of examples is、uh, this larger one that we built for a local business in town, and the smaller one for a residential home. They can be any size or whatever your preference may be. One of my favorite ways to use living walls is as public art, such as the pieces behind me here today. And also this、uh, image that you see of a local not-for-profit that we built a, a sign and, and wall for. Public art is so important because it causes us to again pause from our busy daily lives and to look up and engage with art. And in this case, engaging with something that's alive. Over the past eight years that I've been creating green spaces, I'm constantly affirmed that these green spaces not only benefit the users but also the community and environment at large. I believe the more connected we feel with nature, the healthier we will be as people, and the better stewards we will be of it. Thank you.